Office manager on 212. Go ahead. I got verbal confirmation from the, the uh, 45th Wing Commander. We are go, and we do not need SROs go, so I would like you to proceed. Copy that. Entity with that uh, verification that the range will support today's launch. We need to press on. Pick up the clock on your mark. Copy that. And SRO Entity, uh, need to put this, uh, your hold switch to proceed position. 40 seconds remaining in our launch window. Range is go. GLS, has the SRO hold been removed? Negative, sir. SRO NTD. NT, NTD, I can remove the hold here. NTD, SRO on 212. So we need you to put your hold switch in proceed position. Hold fire on proceed. BC GLS, can you verify? GLS verified. 15 okay. seconds remaining in our hold. Copy. Thanks, Emma. We'll pick up momentarily. CGLS, pick up the clock on your mark. GLS copies. Three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes. T minus five minutes and counting. TLT, OTC, perform APU start. TLT in work. And CDI, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Copy in work. T minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. Flight director entity. Houston flight entity. MTD, Houston flight. I have two seconds of drain back hold remaining. Two, two seconds. seconds. OTC, PLT, three good APUs. Copy that. Pilot Eric Bow reporting three good auxiliary power units. T minus four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. We are go. Copy. Final test of the flight control surfaces is underway. This is a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the flight control surfaces, the elevons, speed brakes, and rudder. Minus 30 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete. Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. And we're completing purge of the shuttle main engines. TLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. The gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Close the mock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Copy and work. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon requesting pilot Eric Bow clear the caution and warning memory system. T minus two minutes and counting. GLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned. T minus one minute. 30 seconds and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. 
T-minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T-minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on a it's, uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T-minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication and hard work and pride of American space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Its altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for 2 minutes and 32 seconds.